welcome to another episode of Science at Home. Today we're going to make something called casein plastic, which was a type of plastic that was made from the 1920s to the 1940s, and it's made with milk. So it's a really cool uh, plastic that you can make at home, and it had a practical use in society for quite a while as well before our modern day plastics started to appear that are a little more durable and a little more strength to them than the casein plastic. So for this experiment, you're gonna need several different things. So first of all, you're gonna need some vinegar. Um, you're only gonna need about four teaspoons worth, so not too much, just a little bit. Uh, you're gonna need some paper towel to help uh, blot your plastic when it comes out. You're gonna need some type of strainer or a slotted spoon would work really well. Uh, you're gonna need some different measuring tools. So you need a teaspoon measure and a cup measure. I've got a half cup here, but I'll just double that. If you want to shape your plastic into something, you can use a mold like I've got here. So I've got a cactus shaped mold. And uh, you're also going to need, of course, some milk. And you're going to want some type of spoon to end up doing some stirring. And then lastly, you're going to need a pot and your stove here. So there will be using the stove involved. There's going to be some heat. So make sure if you're doing this that you are doing it very safely and carefully that you don't accidentally burn yourself. So to get us started, I'm going to take our milk. And we want to add a cup of milk to our pot that's on the stove. And this will make a small batch of plastic. If you want to make more, of course, you can just double your recipe. I'm just going to finish off my milk. So I have just a little bit over a cup of milk in here. And now the next step is going to be to heat that milk up until it's almost about boiling. Once it gets to that point, I'm going to stop and turn off the heat. So we'll let it heat up for a little bit, and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so while the milk was heating up, I took my four teaspoons of vinegar, and I added it to this bowl here. So once my milk is set, I'm going to just dump it right in. And actually, it looks like we're just about set. So I'm going to take it over to here, and we can see our milk is just starting to boil. So I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to move it off of our burner. So now that we have the warmed up milk, you can see some of the steam coming out of it there. And I can definitely smell the warm milk. I'm going to add the vinegar to it. And basically what this vinegar is going to do is it's going to spoil this milk. So uh, milk dairy is a base, if you look at it, it's a pH. And then vinegar is, of course, an acid. And so combining those two together, you get this reaction. And you can see there, it's kind of getting kind of chunky. It looks a little bit different. So I'm going to keep stirring this up a little bit longer. And I want my nice chunks to form. You can see some of the little chunks there. And what this is creating is something called curds and whey. So our smaller white chunky parts, that's our curds. And the uh, clear liquid part, that is the whey. So if you ever heard of Miss Muffet sitting on her tuffet eating her curds and whey, this is what she's eating. Doesn't look too appetizing to me, but hey, some people like different things. All right, now our next step is going to be is to strain this. So we've got our pieces of curds in here, but they're mixed in with our whey. We just want the curds. So I'm going to have to strain this out using our strainer to try and get as many of the curds out of there and keep as much whey as possible separated from it. And these curds are what we'll end up making our casein plastic with. All right, so I had to do a little bit of change of plans. Looking at my curds here, I realized they're going to be too small for my strand. They're just going to go right through. So what I'm going to have to end up doing is I'm going to have to end up scooping off and then just kind of using my spoon here to drain out as much of the whey or the liquid as I can. And then I will dump it out on my paper towel. I'm going to get as much as I can on there and then I'm going to need to squeeze it to help drain it out. So I'm going to scoop this out. It's going to take me a little bit here and we'll come back to look and see what we have. All right, so as you can see, I got out quite a bit of the curds from the milk there. Not quite all of it, though. But there's my little pile of it. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to try and dry this out as much as you can. So I'm going to fold my paper towel in half, and I'm going to squish down on it. And you can see there's all kinds of water coming out of there. Or, excuse me, all kinds of whey coming out of there. And you just want to absorb as much of that as you can because... The next step is going to be to dry this out, and the more liquid we get out now, the 
uh, less time that it's going to take there. So I'm going to kind of move it to a drier spot, fold it in half again. Get some more of that liquid out. At this point, you should be able to pick it up and kind of form it into different shapes, kind of almost like a, like a Play-Doh. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take our cactus mold here, and I'm going to make a cactus out of this plastic. See, so I might be able to make two out of here. So I'm going to jam it into my mold. There we go, just like that. Yeah, I think I'll go for a second. It might not quite be full all the way, but we should be able to get one. And so you can use different kind of molds you have. This is a candy mold for a cactus. You could use, uh, you know, like a toy and surround a toy with this and then have the outer shell of it. And depending on how much liquid you get out with the paper towel is going to depend on how long this takes to dry. If I spent uh, a bit more time on it, it could probably overnight um, have this all dried out and ready. And depending on how thick you make it to, the thicker you make it, the longer it's going to take to dry out at the bottom of it. Uh, but this should take here uh, probably about two days at most for mine to dry out and fully become that case in plastic. So we'll come back once that's done and see how our cactus turn out. All right, so we're back looking at our milk plastic, or our case in plastic. Now, one of the things is that I forgot to check this before I went on vacation, so it got a little dry out more than I would have liked. You can see it actually shrank uh, the plastic pieces down, but you can see our cactus right here. And so it's a, a you know, it made the mold. It made our cactus shape. This one, it did end up breaking off a little bit, so it's kind of brittle. Uh, especially because it looks like I needed to make it maybe a little bit thicker and it would have turned out a little bit better. But you can see I've made a little plastic cactus here. So I could use this. Um, and it's going to last for a while. You can see there's some coloring there where uh, we had some of that milk that got burnt. So I could do some things to make it a little bit clearer, look a little bit nicer. But overall, it managed to work. So we used milk and we managed to make a plastic mold of something that we could potentially use. So hopefully that's a fun experience for you to try at home and share us what you make with your milk plastic.